So, auto industry has uh, created uh, records in the past year. Passenger vehicles sold ever highest retail in 2022, ever highest registration done by passenger vehicle and tractor industry. So, with all your efforts and all your initiatives, all your feedbacks, my, uh, FADA has also taken a lot of feedback from all the auto dealers across India. And uh, with all these valuable feedbacks, we initiated the formation of or drafting of model dealer agreement. For the same, uh, we d employed two legal firms and this model dealer agreement was drafted after an effort of two years. We really gave, gave in, uh, the executive council gave in a lot of effort to draft a level playing agreement for the auto retail, retail industry which kind of you know speaks about both these sides the OEM side as well as the uh, dealer side and we have been pushing this uh, after the launch of model dealer agreement we have been pushing this agreement we have met with nine OEMs till now and uh, requested them to adapt this model dealer agreement and, uh, and it is a, indeed a very proud moment for FADA to announce that the first OEM who has really come forward and adopted our new model o uh, dealer agreement, MDA, is Mr. Rajiv Chaba, <laughs> Managing Director, MD Motors. And the best thing is the day we went to his office to uh, talk about model dealer agreement, that very same day, that very same hour, he confirmed that we'll be the first company, first OEM across India to uh, adopt this MDA. And he has been committed to his words and gave in a lot of efforts, number of meetings, so that we come up with this idle model dealer agreement, which is an equitable bargain for both the dealers as well as the OEM. Thank you, Rajiv, for this momentous occasion. And I would request all dealer community to please stand up and give a round of applause to Rajiv and MD Motors. So I will request Rajiv to further take over. Thank you. We are now going to unveil the new MDA, or Model Dealer Agreement of MG Motors, Rajiv and myself. Congratulations on that model dealer agreement. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite Mr. Sumit Kera, National Network MG Motors, to please come on the desk to present a quick glance of new MG Motor India agreement with channel partners. All right, uh, thank you very much, first of all. Uh, good morning to one and all present over here. My name is uh, Sumit, and I represent uh, MG Motor India from the dealer development function. Let me begin by uh, thanking FADA. Thank you very much for this, and uh, all its esteemed members for this opportunity, and we believe the association plays a very vital role in this ever-evolving auto industry. Let me just take you a little back. Uh, MG began its footprint in India in 2018, almost four years back, under the challenging auto situations where many areas 
were uh, a, a trickle. But the most important, the most important issue that we had all seen that point of time was a low trust based relationship. And I think uh, a, a more guided operations by the OEMs. Being a late entrant in the auto industry as MG, but with a very rich heritage, we did had our own set of advantages and disadvantages. Under the leadership of Rajiv, who helped us carve out a very, very collaborative and a harmonious philosophy for us back in 2017 or 18, when we were just trying to create our foundation phase. Hence, it's imperative before, I mean, you have already seen the dealer agreement unveil, before I talk about it, it's imperative for us to, to take a look back, go into a little flashback, and quickly on one chart, I would like to show you the philosophy right from the day when we started our operations. Next slide, please. Yeah. So, since our day one, we believe in creating an environment of mutual respect and trust. Uh, next, please. The most important parameter or the most important foundation or the most important statement we believed and we cherish this statement even till today as we speak and we will continue to do it is our dealer partner takes care of our customers and their satisfaction and MG takes care of profitability. Thank you very much. So much so, we always keep hearing this, uh, you know, uh, uh, happy OEM delivers happy dealers and a happy dealer delivers happy dealership employees and finally a happy customer. We are so happy with this statement that uh, consecutively for the second time in a row, we have achieved both SSI and CSI number one in the last two years. This is, this is the foundation which helped us do that. Not only that, under our dealer employee satisfaction surveys across the country, we have been in the top three in the first initial three and a half years of our operations. So thank you very much for all of you, to, uh, to all of you for, for this feat to us in, in India. Coming to uh, uh, our, our core philosophies, joint growth together. This has been, uh, you know, our, our one of our pillars. If I, if I may give you some indexes, in 2019, we started with 42 dealership partners across the country with only 45 dealerships. Today, as we speak, we have 102 plus dealerships with just 57 partners. So we believe in a joint growth across the country with all our partners. Fairness, transparency, and trust, this is our another approach that uh, Whenever we, we try to carve out a policy, uh, we, the, the more important parameter here is we have less room for terms and conditions. This is based on our philosophy of trust. Uh, Rajiv always tells us that, you know, 95% uh, of the times a simple policy will do the job. For the rest 5%, we should not design our policy. We should leave less room for terms and conditions. We should make our policy, policies single pages. And this has been very helpful for us since our operations began in 2018 till today. Since beginning, uh, you know, uh, uh, our decisions like introductions of smart showrooms, experience centers, workshops, we aimed at keeping very practical uh, and realistic capex. And we continue to do, do so. In, our next, in my next chart, I'll definitely show you that as well. So since trust is a very important pillar for us, we never had till today a security deposit for any of our dealer partners. Next chart, please. Thank you. <coughs> While this philosophy was designed, it's important to see how this, uh, uh, how the on-ground evolution or action of this philosophy happened. So while our journey is half done, we believe, yeah, next please. We believe in this policy, one dealer, one market to bring more ownership, more profits, and thereby more growth for our partners. And we stand tall by the statement even till today. We have grown stronger, as I told you, with our 55 dealer partners at 102 locations with 350 plus touch points across the country in the last three and a half years. Our dealership formats are based on realistic capex, so much so that in the last three and a half years, we have revised 
our workshop and showroom format cost twice and smartly brought down 10% reduction in our format cost without compromising on experience and the functionality. This is our, this is our commitment to, to, to the investments coming in from all our dealer partners. We have recently also announced not first, not second, but our fourth buyback policy on the warranty and the parts area. This is really an important uh, step for our partners not to carry the slow moving inventories and thereby having a healthy operations. We are also happy and proud to share that before we began our operations in 2019, our start of sales began in June 2019, 2018 we formed our dealer council which we call as ACE council before the start of operations because we believe in a very transparent and a consensus based approach or decision making in whatever decisions we take for us or for our partners. Not only our products are or were ahead of technology, even our operations from the very day one, we have leveraged digitization and automation for our entire network. Whether it is paperless claims settlement for our dealer partners or efficient mobile dashboards for our partners to see at a click of button what kind of operations are happening in and around or even the centrally controlled content management systems. We have always taken a feed and this is another strong area where we feel more is less. So today as we unveil our, our, our model dealer agreement or our MG dealer agreement, we are kind of formalizing our MG spirit because in MG India, our dealer agreement, when we looked at the model dealer agreement versus our dealer agreement, we found that our dealer agreement was very fair based on fairness, based on transparency, ease of doing business and forward looking. However, we really appreciate the efforts done by FADA in spending two years with multiple legal bodies to carve out a model dealer agreement and we did some tweaking in our agreement basis the suggestions and we welcome those and we are proud to say that we have inclusions across uh, multiple areas, few of them being business plan and uh, review mechanisms which eases the dealer uh, conditioning. Additional dealer appointment, this becomes a very talking point at times and we have tried to simplify it and, and we have adopted uh, uh, good suggestions here. At the same time, in a very, very unlikely event of OEM exit, we have also acknowledged the formation of a committee where our dealer partners, uh, our dealer bodies representatives and MG representatives will definitely try to form a very favorable outcome. So with this, I would like to thank all, all of you for patient listening. Thank you all for, uh, thank you FADA for this opportunity and thanks all the dealer partners. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sumit Gira, for that uh, quick glance of new MG Motor India agreement with uh, Channel Partners.